Hello, fish fools. Jeff here. So this is my 10-gallon Guppy and Endler hybrid tank. And I noticed this big mama right here is giving birth. There is a guppy fry hanging out of her if she can slow down some. I just put food in this tank so their fish are all kind of in a frenzy. But I did notice earlier that you know she was kind of hiding off in the corner behind plants. You know, I noticed that she was big and I figured that, you know, the reason she was hiding was maybe because she was giving birth or about to give birth and then I just put food in this tank so now she's out in the open. And then of course the males they are relentless. But what I'd like to see, I'd like to witness, you know, fry popping out. But that might not, might not be able to <laughs> get to see that these males are just harassing the hell out of her. But it's probably gonna, probably gonna have to turn off the lights, and that's probably when she'll release most of her fry when the lights go out and the fish are pretty much you know going to essentially going to sleep mode Let's see, is that... I can't tell if there's that fry partially hanging out. I need to get a good angle and see if she slows down. Yep, it's still there. There, you can get a little better look at it right there. You can see the tail fin hanging out. The body and the tail fin, right there. Nope. Let's look at some of these guppy and their hybrids. I mean, look how awesome that the colors on that one is. There's one sweet looking fishy. 
this one looks like he kind of struggles as he swims. I think this one is partially injured. One time when I was doing a water change and I was siphoning water out, one of the fish got caught in the siphon, and I think this is the one. Because from that point onward, I noticed this one was kind of swimming awkward. I mean, guppies in general will kind of swim, look a little awkward as they swim because they have big fins and stuff, but that one even more so, how it's kind of off center. But compared to some others with, like this one, no, that's the same one. <laughs> Like that one, I guess. But yeah, these are guppy and they're hybrids, so some of them do look more like guppies and have, you know, more like guppy tails, and some are more like endlers, like this one. And then there's these that are like yellow cobra endlers. Oh, well, there's a good looking one right here. That one is sweet. Just all the multicolors, and then we can get a good look at the. There's a good look at one with the like the spots on the dorsal fin too. I still have hair algae in this tank. You can kind of see it wrapped around the java moss. Like whenever I do water changes, I pull some out. I have a mono shrimp in here. As I mentioned before, they were kind of a disappointment in their algae eating. And I, you know, and I did mention before also that I realized that it's they have enough other food to eat, they'll eat that. Because that'll keep them hungry enough to want to have to eat the algae. There's a we'll constantly see some of the amount of shrimp carrying eggs, though they do not have surviving offspring in fresh water. See if I can find that. This platy is pretty beefy. I'm ready to pop pretty soon. Where, where's that female? Female guppy and their hybrid. Behind back there, I think that's it. Behind the Ricky Blue Tans. Man, these dudes don't leave her alone.
is a pygmy quarry right there in the center. Figuring how, after I turn out the lights and check back tomorrow, she will be less beefy and have popped out some fry. All right, well, that's it for now. And I'm Jeff, and I enjoy fishies. Thanks for watching.